five books, my five book, five star book ridiculous. <laughs> everyone I hope you're doing well for today's video I thought this would be a new Bilbo I thought it would be quite interesting to choose five books that I predict are going to be five star reads I might be completely wrong I might not even know my own reading tastes and these might be the worst books I've ever read but I thought it would be interesting to just have a chat through of them with you if you've read them you can let me know your thoughts see what you think of them there's some fantasy there's some sci-fi there's a bit of horror just to sort of have a little mix of different things so the first book is Salem's Lot by Stephen King and I love vampire books my cat's being sick now hang on <sighs> girl love your cat having a third ball halfway through filming honestly the first book I've chosen is Salem's Lot by Stephen King and I really enjoy books with vampires in it and I think this is very sort of traditional vampire as opposed to like Twilight obviously but I've heard really good things I've heard that it is quite creepy and I think I'm gonna enjoy it I mean the fact that it's just vampires on its own and it's Stephen King's writing I feel like I am gonna enjoy it but I'm also a little bit nervous to dive into it just in case I don't enjoy it but I feel like I will and I feel like especially if it's that level of creepy as well is going to be an interesting one. Let me know if you've read this. I know this is usually in the sort of top half of people's Stephen King lists so it's going to be interesting to see if I do enjoy it or not. Next book is a standalone and it is Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas and this is another book that has got a bit of everything that I enjoy. I know it's supposed to be supernatural, it's quite creepy but it also has like a love story to it, it's LGBT. I know that there's a transgender character who's come into terms with their gender identity and it sort of delves into the family dynamics of that and the acceptance of the character being trans. It focuses on Latinx culture as well so it's going to be really interesting. I'm pretty sure it focuses on the Day of the Dead as well. As if I just realised that you can put the exposure up. <laughs> so sorry for the change in the uh, lighting and yeah overall it sounds really interesting and it's definitely a book that would be up my street and um, so i think i'm gonna really enjoy it so yeah that's my second five star prediction and then the third one is very stereotypical horror i've heard a lot of people talking about this book and nobody that i know has given this book a bad rating which is making me want to read it even more like this has been on my radar for about when did it come out so it came out in 2017 i just never got around to reading it and then i finally bought it and this one was in my 21 reads for 2021 as well and it is my best friend's exorcism there's quite a few people that i know that have read this recently and really enjoyed it you had really good things obviously i mean as it says on the book is about somebody's best friend's exorcism and it's supposed to be really creepy and engaging and keeps you sort of engrossed in it and i just love the cover i've said this every time but it's amazing i'm getting like 80s vibes so i really hope that it is like 80s vibes you know so that's the third one i do think that i'm gonna give this five stars although this is definitely one that i've really hyped up in my head so i don't actually know if i'll enjoy it as much as i think i'm gonna enjoy it in my head i think that's the only only thing that's sort of dangerous about giving a book a preconceived rating is that you don't necessarily know if it's gonna meet up to what you think it's gonna be and the fourth book is 
The Toll by Neil Schusterman and this is the third book in the Ark of the Scythe series. Um, it's a trilogy so I don't think they are going to do any more books but obviously because I haven't read this yet I don't know if it, it does tie things up nicely or if it does leave things a little bit open-ended. If you're not aware of what the Ark of the Scythe series is about, it's set in the sort of distant future and society has got to the point where death is no longer something that happens naturally so everybody is kind of like immortal but with the world there still needs to be death so there are a group of people called scythes and these people are chosen to glean people which means to kill people and it's up to them how they choose to kill somebody and how many people they kill um i think they do from memory because i did read this two years ago the first book they have a certain amount of people that they have to kill each year but then some people will kill more and it's really interesting because a lot of the time these scythes don't necessarily want to kill and that's why they're chosen the first two books were brilliant i give them both five stars and the only reason why i stopped reading this i did start it but i didn't want it to end in all honesty and i didn't feel like it was the right time to finish reading it i read the first two books pretty much back to back and i should have read this and carried it on but i didn't so i need to get around to it but if neil schusman's writing is anything to go by i know that i'm probably going to really enjoy this the only problem is reading it so far away from the last two books is that i don't know if I'm going to remember everything that happens. I've heard mixed opinions. I've heard some people say that it's brilliant and then some people have sort of been slightly let down by the ending. But I'm hoping that there's going to be lots of twists and turns that I don't see coming and that I will enjoy the ending. So yeah, if the rest of the series is anything to go by, I feel like I will really enjoy this book. I need to drink. Oh my god. I just have to roll down me. The last book... I don't know if this is slightly cheating because it's my current read and I'm 200 pages in and it's like a 650 page book but it is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas. Oh, look at that, you can see the drink that I've tipped down me, how much of a mess am I? I'm gonna go like this to cover. <laughs> and this book is one that I never envisioned myself reading. I read A Court of Thorns and Roses for my overhyped book series where I choose one book every month to read um, that you guys decide on that you think is overhyped and then I give my opinions whether I agree that it's overhyped or whether I think that it deserves to be hyped that sort of thing and I didn't expect to ever enjoy or read Sarah J Maas but the first book in the series I I did enjoy a lot more than I thought I would but I think with that book it was more the shock of enjoying a Sarah J Maas book than it being one of the best books I've ever read but the way that it left off it was definitely open-ended and I kind of wanted to read the second book in the series to get a better idea of what the series was going to be about because I think a lot of the time when you read the first book in a series there's so much the potential that it can have and then the second book really solidifies whether you enjoy it or not one of my friends really didn't like it and she had the same sort of opinions on a certain character that i did i assumed that i would also have the same opinions and that i wouldn't enjoy the second book but oh my god my opinions completely changed on the series because of the second book and i'm definitely the type of person who usually enjoys the second book a lot less. I expected the same thing to happen with A Court of Mist and Fury but I love this a lot more than A Court of Thorns and Roses. It was easily five stars is the best book I've read this year. I know that we're only like at the start of the year but definitely one of the best fantasy books I've read in a long time. As it's going at the moment I'm really really enjoying it and I can't see me giving it any less than like three stars. That's the final book that I expect is going to be five stars. As I said, there is 
a really good mix of books here. If you've read any of these books, please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what rating you give them. I know that everybody's opinion is different, so it'd be really interesting to hear, like, even if you love them, even if you hated them, let me know. And I think what I'll do at some point this year, once I've read these five, if I do, I'll give you a roundup and, and I'll give you what I actually thought of them, whether I did give them five stars, whether I didn't, and sort of a summary of my thoughts on them as well. I hope you enjoyed and thank you very much for watching. Bye!